Hi guys. Hey, uh, I want to show you the trailer I just finished building. It's a cargo mate, seven by twelve. It's got about a seven foot ceiling. It's pretty, pretty a lot of headroom. Um, I love this thing. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to do a bunch of camping, and I'll be able to bring my motorcycle and go exploring all over the place. And uh, that's what I built it for. So this is the interior of it. I'll show you the interior, and then we'll go uh, at the end of this. I'll show you the pictures from the build and uh, from the beginning to the end. It's pretty cool. So yeah, here's my seven by twelve. So we'll start uh, as we come in the door. Uh, on the right hand side, obviously, is the uh, the front counter, and then I've got the sink with a foot pump. I could just pump it. Doesn't require any power, and uh, I wanted that because just in case I was out boondocking, I didn't want to have to run down the battery just to get water. Um, here's a closet and the set of drawers. I bought that set of drawers for 50 bucks on Craigslist. Here's the most boring thing in the whole trailer, the closet. Uh, got a little shelf for over the bed. Throw my drink or uh, iPhone up there while I'm charging it. The bed will move out of the way. It's just on a little bed frame that I bought on Amazon and it'll fold up and the uh, I can put two motorcycles in her side by side if I wanted to. I only got one, but just in case I wanted to uh, grab one for my buddy. So there's the, uh, the back door. It doubles as a ramp and also a porch. And I built an awning on the back so the porch will be out of the sun or out of the rain. Man, can you hear the rain now? Holy cow. Uh, we're in Oregon. Of course, it rains all the time. Uh, there's the TV stand that folds down out of the way when the motorcycles in here all my clothes and uh, motorcycle gear up there in the uh, the cabinets the Beautiful door with all my prize stickers, but uh, I was gonna spend 450 bucks to get a new door so I could have a, a Locking door I could be inside and still have a way to get out um, That wasn't gonna work 450 bucks doesn't work for me. This one was 11 bucks and uh, yeah, that works for me. Problem solved. So there's the uh, power. Got a 110 or I've got 12 volt. Carbon monoxide detector, the light switch, a battery disconnect switch, the voltmeter, two USB and USB-A and USB-C for my iPhone, my iPad, my computer. And there's a little refrigerator. Got the diesel heater rolling. Here's a controller. I love that thing. 100, best 120 bucks I ever spent. Uh, I put a little LED up there. And uh, yeah, that's the inside of the trailer. So now I'll show you all the pictures of the build from the beginning when I started uh, just a regular trailer to now. All right. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I hope to earn your subscription today. So yeah, subscribe. And if you don't want to subscribe, hit the like button. All right, so here's the beginning of the trailer. Uh, this is what it looked like when I bought it before I drove it home. Just a regular cargo trailer, 7x12. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, hooked it up to my ice cream truck and drove it home. Pulled it like a dream. Just in time for the craziest ice storm we'd seen in Oregon for 40, 50 years. But then uh, this is the inside. It's just garbage. Uh, garbage wood, I call it. Was wood. <laughs> and uh, the trim was even worse. Eighth inch thick, just junk. I'm going to turn it into a fire out of the campground. But started insulating it. You know, that's the most important thing. You put the insulation in the trailer and keeps it nice and warm. Little by little, I'd take one piece off. I'd fill it up with insulation, put it back on. And uh, little by little... Do one side, do the other side, top and bottom. Got the nose done. And uh, basically, it's all finished. It's all insulated. And uh, that makes me think, well, i got to start doing something. So I uh, decided to cut out one of the fan pieces uh, out of the roof. Cut a big hole out. Well, not a big hole, 14 by 14. And put the uh, fantastic fan I bought in. Had to shore it up on the bottom so the screws could have something to bite into. There I fitted it, and there's the uh, the frame that I, that I built for it. That You won't be able to see that under the ceiling. And then I uh, put a bunch of lap sealant up there and made it all waterproof. Then I started on the roof, the inside ceiling, and put the furring strips. 
basically that's going to hold all the uh, the ceiling pieces that I put on there. <clears throat> and then I realized I forgot to insulate the door, so I took all the pieces off the door and stuffed a bunch of insulation in there. <clears throat> I think it's going to make a big difference, especially because I almost forgot it. But it looks pretty good. Doesn't add any really any any weight to it. And then I started putting the insulation on the ceiling. And that took forever. It took like six days for that stuff to dry. Little by little, piece by piece, I added them all. And then uh, I started on the electrical stuff. Once I got the ceiling insulated, I started on the electrical receptacles. And uh, started on all the wiring for the LED lights and anything else that was going to go on the ceiling. I finished the fan uh, wiring. And then I started on the ceiling itself. You know, cutting the holes for the LED lights, putting all the wiring together with the wire nuts, and actually I used Wagyu connectors. Wire nuts are dumb. And then I started on the putting paneling on the side, little by little, and adding pieces on the ceiling, little by little. I was doing it all by myself, so it was not easy. And then I started adding the eye bolts on the outside of the trailer for the awning. Um... I did those and went back to the ceiling, uh, cut the hole for the fan, and installed that piece. I thought it looked pretty darn good. Um, since it was a first ceiling, I'd never kind of done for myself. And then the big job of painting the floor with the acrylic paint. I wanted a, a good hard like floor paint on there. And uh, little by little, I got it all finished. I put a couple coats on and uh, it looked fantastic. Then I added some e-track for the motorcycle so the motorcycle can clip onto the thing. I uh, laid out a spot for the bed so I kind of understood the space and then I put my motorcycle in there to give it a try and it fit just right. Yeah, there was enough room for the bed and the motorcycle. And then on to the front counter. That's going to hold all the good stuff. It's got to have all the wiring done, you know, wiring inside. It's got to have uh, everything to be built off of that too, the sink and the closet and all that. Uh, had to put the uh, junction box in there, the, the fuse box and the breaker box. And then wire up all the switches and basically it's uh, it was ready for stain, I thought. <laughs> So I started on the cabinets and I put the uh, cabinets together uh, using a pocket hole jig and put all the pieces, cut all the pieces and uh, got them ready and then made the frame. And uh, yeah, I was ready to go. Uh, all by myself, I installed the frame and it looked pretty good. Then I cut some holes for the vent <clears throat> or a hole for the vent and uh, started adding some stuff onto the... Uh, the cabinets to make sure they're nice and sturdy and then the hard part all the wiring uh, got to start from scratch and build all the wiring that's uh, attached to the distribution panel and the battery and uh, you know that powers the 110 and the 12 volt throughout the whole trailer and I brought 12 or I brought the 110 up through the floor uh, that was an easy one right to the distribution panel. And then uh, I jumped on the battery. That's a uh, 150 amp hour lead acid battery made by Trojan. Awesome battery, by the way. And that's gonna power everything for the 12 volt side. All right, so now on to the uh, building the front nose cabinet, which a uh, bunch of angles, and that's not my forte, but I got it done. And then I started with the cedar, uh, a really aromatic, uh, aromatic cedar all over the cabinets then cut out the cabinet holes for where the doors are going to go and then that worked out good then uh, look at the size of this firewood pile i got going just chunks of everything and then i started on the cabinet doors the cabinet doors were uh, they were a lot of fun super easy and just wanted to you know cover up the holes i made nothing fancy then on to uh, the sink. The sink was a pain in the butt, but I got it done. And then on to the USB 
uh, receptacles and the carbon monoxide detector, just in case, you know. Uh, it's nice with a diesel heater. But then I started to hear the spring of the door going boing, boing, boing. So I built a box that kind of covers up the spring. And uh, I thought it looked pretty good. At least now you don't look at the spring. And I put some sound editing in there so you couldn't really hear it that well. And then I uh, started working on that uh, beautiful receptacle that pops up that's on the front counter. Then a little more on the uh, the <laughs> the closet area. I framed that all in, and then I put a bunch of uh, cedar on it. And then a uh, closet rod, of course. Built a beautiful receptacle for that, so I can plug in stuff when I'm in bed. And uh, then I started on the sink again, installing at least. You know, got it all in there, and then uh, decided to check all my wiring. So. You know, make sure everything's uh, polarity-wise is all good, and it was. But now uh, I realized I had to move the refrigerator. The refrigerator was too far to the left, so I had to move it to the right, uh, giving me a little bit more room for the battery and the wiring on the right side. And uh, I just, I didn't feel like it was in the right spot, so I moved it. Here's some of the stuff they gave me. They gave me a remote, like I'm never going to use that. Anyway, I got the rest of the stuff installed in the uh, front of it, uh, ready to go for stain. And uh, before I stained everything, I built a, a quick uh, table for the TV, and it collapses, gets out of the way as soon as you want to put the motorcycle in there. And then I stained some of the uh, trim pieces, and oh man, started to come together. But now I got to get serious and start staining the uh, the ceiling and the front counter and all that. That's why everything's all taped off in the blue tape uh, before I start working on the diesel heater. So here comes the diesel heater. Uh, had to cut a hole in the floor, big four inch hole, let the exhaust out and all that. Um, then I installed it and then I realized, man, I think I put it in backwards. So I switched it up. But, you know, getting everything primed and uh, getting to know that controller, that was, uh, that was a lot of work. It's uh, not easy to translate it from Chinese. But, worked on the bed, uh, threw the bed frame in there. That's a twin bed frame from Amazon that just folds up. Threw an 8-inch uh, memory foam mattress on there. And then uh, started cutting a hole for the heater vent on the front counter piece. And that, that worked out pretty good. Um, then I built a little shelf. That goes right above the bed. So I could throw my phone on there, maybe a drink. Then I put some uh, other pieces, like I, I took these mason jars and put them, filled them full of rice and uh, peas and stuff and screwed the lid on. That's the, uh, the, the $11 piece that I used to lock the door. Works like a dream. Then I finished up the front of the, uh, the sink. I had to cut a hole to let the water uh, jug in and take it out whenever I wanted to. That's the floor pump, the foot pump for that. Really easy system. Just uh, pump it and it works like a dream. Then I started on this diesel heater uh, and I wanted to get all the steps right. I wanted to make sure that it was primed. Um, you know, everything was run correctly before I started doing it. So I was working on hanging the uh, kind of loud uh, fuel pump. Made a lot of really large ticking. Uh, put some sound deadening around it. And uh, yeah, it seemed to do a good job. Uh, then I filled up the container, or the, the, the fuel tank full of fuel and started priming it. Got it all primed. Put the exhaust on. Uh, made sure the intake was out of the way. Here's a shot of underneath the trailer. Uh, I got two different uh, mufflers on there, and man, you can't even hear it. It's great. Um, oh, went back to the sink because I, I needed one piece of hose to have the drain, and I, I found that piece of hose. and So I went back to the heater, put that giant piece of uh, heater vent hose on, then realized I needed some uh, sound editing uh, stuff on the front of the cabinet. So I put that on. Then I built a door and a 
cut out a little hole so I could work on the diesel heater when it was, uh, you know, in case that ever needed to happen. And basically, I fired it up and it ran. And it's done. So, I don't think there's anything else I have to worry about. Uh, I might add some stuff along the way, but yeah, the whole trailer's finished. Here's a picture of it when it's uh, done. Of course, the floor's dirty, but hell, and then the, the bike fits in there perfectly. I can still sleep in it when the bike's in there, and that's all I really wanted. So now the inside's done, and I uh, finished the awning on the outside. Put a canvas 6x8 awning on there, and uh, put some tent poles, some guy wires, and it's ready to go. So hey, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate you uh, leaving a little like, or maybe subscribing to the channel, and uh, We'll see you next week with a new ice cream truck video.